Hello, hey guys, welcome to our channel that is Adu Mandla. So today we will be going to discuss about the topic what is politics. So this is part of your uh, uh, syllabus uh, of political science. So those students who are studying political science and international relations may know about this uh, topic. And uh, also before studying, uh, I want to inform you that uh, in every subject, when we start studying a subject in, uh, in it, there are some basic terms which we, we, which we are required to learn. So politics is one such term uh, which uh, we must know about, which uh, we must know before uh, studying in detail the entire subject. So uh, today's purpose is to define politics and uh, what are the difficulties in defining it and uh, what if, if effectively leads to uh, a proper definition so these three things we will be looking at so without wasting much time let's start our lecture uh, so see the thing is uh, <clears throat> if we consider uh, politics uh, you might be uh, asking a question before delving into the definition uh, I want to discuss something else that uh, you might uh, uh, question may uh, come in your mind that why we study politics uh, why uh, after all it is necessary to study politics well some of you will say that uh, they have uh, uh, chosen PSIR as their optional subject uh, but uh, if we consider it from general point of view, then uh, it is necessary to answer this question. Because if we want to know what is the meaning of politics, then we have to answer this question. That is why we are studying politics after all. See, the subject, the, the main thing about politics is, uh, is that it is very interesting subject. Interesting in the sense that it has one element embedded in it and that element is disagreement so when we talk about politics a word must strike in your mind that word is disagreement so whatever we do in it in in politics uh, there is always a disagreement among the people who 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 consider uh, politics so the thing is disagreement can be over uh, uh, various things like uh, how to live the life, uh, how to build a better society, how to share resources, uh, who will get the power and uh, who will be ultimately making the collective decision making thing and what should be the process of collective decision making. So all these things are in uh, associated with politics and there is always a disagreement in it. So that's why it is interesting because uh, you know that when we when we disagree we debate and in debate lies the interest the actual search for the meaning of the terms the concepts we we want to understand so <clears throat> before uh, moving on to the definition uh, we will consider the aristotle uh, a, a, a greek scholar so aristotle has to say that man by nature is a political animal. So uh, he says that uh, man lives in a society. So he cannot live alone. So do, because it is living in a society, it, uh, because it is living in a uh, society that is governed by some rules. So that, that's why it is a political animal. So uh, according to Aristotle, it's a master science. And uh, it is also, uh, if, uh, if politics, uh, uh, we all ask uh, Aristotle what is politics, he will say activity uh, through which human beings attempt to improve their lives is called political uh, science or politics. So he has to say this, that is his main focus is on activity. Which activity? Activity that aims to improve the lives of the individuals or that aims to build a good society all those activities when we study those activities the the the, uh, the study of those activities comes under the um, the, uh, the the uh, the definition of politics so this uh, this is uh, uh, about aristotle uh, and what he has to say about politics now question is uh, uh, here we uh, we will look into the uh, more detail of this uh, term um, 
See, the thing is that politics is a social activity. So why it is a social activity, a question may come in your mind. Uh, because see, you know that you live in a society, you have to interact with the uh, different people. You have to interact with people who may not be like uh, uh, like you or, or your community. So when you interact with other individuals, other human beings in the society, then there, uh, there are some terms of interaction. So those terms of interactions are, are decided by some basic rules which human beings build uh, for, for uh, their survival. So, uh, of course, uh, if we consider a single individual, a single individual, solitary individual uh, is, uh, doesn't have uh, anybody to interact with. So, in that case, politics is difficult. So, it, uh, uh, it in a sense, always happens in a social context. So that's why it is called social activity and uh, it is about dialogue and it is not about uh, monologue because uh, uh, as, as I said that it is a social activity so people will be involved, dialogue will be there, debate will be there, disagreement will be there and it cannot be uh, termed as monologue. So it, it always politics always involves more than one person. Now let's move on to the next slide. Uh, Yeah, so we were discussing about disagreement that is uh, uh, in politics, the disagreement thing is very important. So how it is important? See, we consider disagreement as the heart of the politics. So if you want to understand the politics, you have to understand what disagreement is. So disagreement in simple sense, we can say it is, uh, uh, it is a kind of different opinion that people hold about certain concept or certain process or certain outcome. So uh, this agreement about that leads to the phenomena of politics. So this disagreement um, uh, which we will be discussing this this disagreement it is important to note that it is not just limited to the uh, to the uh, to the things in consideration that is uh, various opinions or uh, various concepts it this this disagreement concept also imply uh, applies to the subject itself which we are studying and the subject which we which we are studying is political science so uh, among scholars there is uh, there is a disagreement even uh, on, on, on the discipline which, which is being studied. So uh, disagreement like how it should be studied, uh, what should be uh, its nature and which uh, uh, social interaction should be considered as uh, political. So due to that reason, due to the, this disagreement or a difference of opinion about the uh, subject content, subject matter and, uh, and uh, uh, subjects nature uh, that disagreement leads to uh, various schools of thought or we can say approaches theoretical approaches to study the politics so uh, in a sense you you will get the idea you are uh, you may get the idea that if you want to understand the politics then you can't understand it by a single perspective because uh, as I told you that this disagreement is not just limited to the content of the subject but it applies on the subject itself the, uh, or the subject of political science. So that's why you have to consider multiple viewpoints, multiple definitions of, of the same thing that, uh, then only you will be closer to the reality. Uh, so uh, in that context let's see. Uh, uh, the definition of the politics which we will try to uh, define in our best possible manner. So as I have told you that uh, uh, politics uh, can be defined as the activity through which people make, preserve and amend the general rules under which they live. So you are, a, uh, as Aristotle said that you are a political enemy, uh, I am a political enemy. So we live in society and we have to interact with society and uh, our uh, surroundings to, to survive. So uh, when we interact with others, then there are some terms and also when we, when we use the resources of the, um, of the nature that are common resources, then there is certain, uh, then there must be certain rules that must define uh, our, our, our responsibility, our share of the res resources 
and our uh, and our responsibility towards the other uh, other members of the society so in academic sense if we consider politics it is a study of this activity so uh, this activity uh, which activity it is it is the uh, activity of making rules and all those things in academic sense when we when we study politics then it means we are studying that activity of making rules preserving those rules and amending those rules so one important thing which you must consider in mind uh, uh, apart from the disagreement thing uh, is that uh, two things are very important in political science one is conflict and other is cooperation so when you live in a society you interact with others there are two possible scenarios either uh, you can uh, act in cooperation with the individuals with whom you are interacting or you can be at conflict with them so this uh, these two scenarios are very important uh, when we consider politics because uh, uh, these are the building blocks of disagreement because if there is cooperation then uh, it points out to to a situation where uh, there might be some differences of opinion among the individuals but they are ready to reconcile those differences and to uh, they are ready to work in cooperation with each other and then comes the conflict in in case of conflict uh, the situation is that the different members of the society have different opinion have conflicting interests about about certain things and uh, that conflict all that conflict explains uh, to some extent the nature of the politics so, so politics is in a sense defined by conflict and cooperation so process of con uh, and in fact what is the what is the purpose of political science or politics so uh, the purpose of studying politics is that when we study it uh, we, if if we are cooperating with each other then it is well and good but but, but if there is conflict then uh, that must be resolved because conflict is not an ideal situation of course every conflict cannot be resolved but it is our effort to improve the society to improve our lives and uh, uh, for that you have to do conflict re re resolution and uh, politics is about finding uh, solutions to those conflicts finding methods or processes by which we can uh, resolve these conflicts or or we can uh, uh, reconcile rival views or conflicting interests or competing interests so here uh, we will consider another definition so hanna ran um, th this is uh, um, sh she is a very important political thinker and uh, uh, what she has to say about politics is that politics is acting in concert so uh, she sh says that politics is all about acting in concert concert means you may say uh, group so when you act in a group or in a, in a in a uh, coordinated manner uh, that is what makes uh, uh, politics so uh, when we 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 study that act uh, uh, of uh, acting in cooperation or concert then that is called politics that is what hanar and has to say about this now a uh, question may arise about the folder of politics so uh, you may say that uh, uh, what uh, what is uh, what is the basis on which we we study politics so there are two bases two very important bases due, due to which uh, we we uh, we are required to study politics or due to which the this discipline has come into existence so these two important things are one is diversity and other is scarcity so diversity is basically among the people so consider yourself you are a member of a community uh, who or uh, maybe uh, the, your members all those members of the community uh, of whom you are part they may be living at peace with each other but then you are not uh, the this uh, this uh, alone community on on this earth there are many other communities other social groups which uh, which uh, which you are required to deal with with which uh, you have to interact Uh, so that 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 social groups may be in the form of uh, religious groups 
or in the form of caste groups we can say and uh, we can also consider it as uh, linguistic groups but at the uh, uh, at the larger scale it is the nation states so when this diversity is there due to this diversity uh, among the people there will be of course a, d a diversity in the opinion so there will be different points of view uh, about something so different ways will be uh, will be there um, uh, through which a particular uh, particular thing is looked upon so uh, that that uh, when when different perspectives exist through which we see things then of course um uh, two uh, uh, two situations emerge that is of conflict or cooperation that i have explained earlier and also then comes scarcity second thing which is of, uh, which is of importance or uh, which is uh, which can be called the fodder of the politics it is the scarcity of resources so why we do we interact we we interact basically to to share the resources of the nature or uh, to to get the resources to get the necessary resources which are uh, which are vital for our existence so in uh, where, where we live there is a scarcity of resources in this world uh, no, uh, our known world there is scarcity of resources there are many uh, prospective individuals uh, who have uh, uh, their needs uh, but the resource distribution is not equal and there is scarcity so to manage that scarcity uh, it is important that uh, we we uh, we we distribute the resources in a fair manner so when we distribute uh, so resources in a fair manner then there is a uh, there is very uh, there is a possibility that uh, that conflict may not happen again we have uh, uh, gone to the basic thing that is uh, uh, when there is scarcity of resources two situations may emerge cooperation and conflict as i have told you earlier so uh, when when there is conflict uh, then there must be ways to resolve that conflict and uh, uh, the ways may be called as politics and uh, if if there is uh, there is a kind of cooperation among um, among people uh, then then there must be such terms of cooperation through which resources can be shared among the people so that's why we study three four things uh, when we when we consider politics that is disagreement and that disagreement uh, 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 why disagreement due to the diversity and scarcity of resources so these two things that is diversity and scarcity may be may be leading to two situations either conflict or cooperation so whether it is conflict uh, conflict or cooperation there must be rules that that may be may be informing those uh, uh, those conflicts or uh, cooperative efforts so those rules which we decide or uh, which we make for the purpose of conflict resolution and for the purpose of cooperation those rules the maintaining of those rules the preservation of those rules and the amending of those rules can be called politics so here we can come to an important conclusion important conclusion is uh, that politics is an inevitable feature of human civilization because as i have said that uh, uh in this world people uh, th th there are diverse people they belong to different social groups and uh, also that there is scarcity of resources there are so many people so many social groups but the resources are limited and everybody wants to survive and uh, resources are vital for every for every social groups uh, survival so that's why uh, uh, we can conclusively say that that we uh, we uh, uh, we we can't ignore politics because politics is an inevitable future of human civilization this answer also uh, this this thing also answers the question which is often raised by students that after all why we are studying politics what is the need of studying politics why uh, why um, Uh, can can we live without politics so this is basically the answer you can't live without politics because uh, you are diverse you live in a diverse world and there is scarcity of resources and and to manage these things there must be some rules and those rules um, come under the category of politics so uh, that's why you you must study 
uh, this subject political science and international relations so that is why uh, it is important to study these subjects now the other thing is that uh, uh, there are major challenges in defining politics now uh, to large extent you may have got the idea of what is politics but still there are some challenges the first challenge challenge is politics is a loaded term so what it means it means that when we use the word politics certain image conjures up in our mind so uh, the image may be uh, positive uh, but that situation is very rare but often people have negative opinion uh, about uh, politics um, often when we uh, when we listen this word of pol uh, of politics uh, an image of deception or manipulation or uh, trouble or disruption comes to our mind so <clears throat> that is a kind of uh, negative uh, negative uh, ne negative association or negative consideration of uh, of the word politics so when we study it uh, we before even starting its study we we when listen this word we come with uh, we come uh, with our preconceived notions that exist in our mind about politics so we often uh, often have uh, we often come with our opinion uh, opinions about politics this this is the situation which is unique to political science but it is uh, uh, not unique to subjects like economy geography natural sciences like mathematics uh, physics chemistry biology so on in on in those subjects what uh, what what is the thing the thing is that people don't have any preconceived notion they don't have any prior idea or bias but in case of politics there is very much uh, uh, very high possibility of people having uh, preconceived notions so when you um, uh, when you have preconceived notions and uh, and you come with those notions to study the political science then it is very likely that you will when you will propose the definition of the politics you may not be proposing it in an unbiased or impartial manner the, your definition of politics may be uh, may be informed by your bias so in that context we can't authoritatively say that what a single individual says about politics about the definition of politics is correct because of course uh, bias is an inherent thing in in case of politics when we when we consider the politics and that's why we we can't agree on one term and uh, that's why there are different definitions that have been proposed for politics so <clears throat> if we like i have told you about the negative thing of the politics so samuel johnson uh, was a moral thinker of uh, uh, 18th century uh, he according to him the definition is politics is nothing more than a means of rising in the world so he he is a kind of negative image or uh, a negative view of the politics so according to him uh, he considers it that uh, people often deceive each other or use whatever means they can uh, so as to uh, so as to make them rise uh, over the others in in this competitive world just a minute so uh, he has a negative opinion so this is the opinion of samuel johnson then there is another person henry adams so he is a 19th century usa historian so what he has to say about politics is that politics is the systematic organization of hatreds so he also proposes a kind of definition but we can't accept as, uh, it as uh, an uh, is a is uh, an appropriate definition because uh these two individuals have their own preconceived notions they have their biases they have the negative approach towards the politics so they they defined the politics uh, due to their negative opinion they defined it in such a manner that it it uh, it uh, uh, that we get a uh, negative uh, definition of politics so that's why we can't agree with one single definition so uh, there is very much possibility that uh, uh, there will be different definitions of the politics so this th this is the first major challenge and second major challenge is that this disagreement is not just among the common people 
uh, about the politics disagreement is even among the uh, respected authorities so who are the respected authorities respected authorities are those scholars those individuals who have in detail a kind of understanding of uh, this subject and uh, they also disagree about what politics is all about so uh, each 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 respected authority has its own definition for example they it may politics means different things to different individuals like uh, it may mean exercise of power to one or 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 uh, it may seem, may seem to be a science of government to the other and then there is also things of making collective decisions allocation of scarce resources practice of deception and manipulation so there are different definitions so even the even the scholars who have uh, in de in depth understanding of the subject cannot agree on one single definition so as regard to the definition which we used in the previous slides that is uh, politics is that activity through which we make rules and uh, preserve those rules and amend those rules uh, to to ensure our survival uh, to 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 ensure our uh, kind of uh, um, to to ensure that we we build better lives in regard to that definition uh, there is again a disagreement what type of disagreement is this uh, the disagreement is the, does that mean a particular way in which rules are made so we are talking about the activity that makes that makes rules uh, about uh, living and all those things but the question is does it means a particular way of uh, way in which rules are made or or whether it includes all such processes that is not just a way but but the application of those rules and the consequences of those rules so uh, there, there is a disagreement in this too now other disagreement point disagreement among the respected authorities or scholars is that when we talk about politics and uh, uh, when we when we say that politics is going on do we mean it in all social contexts or institutions or do we consider only certain specific uh, uh social contexts that is government and public life so that is also a problem in defining the politics so where you are using the word politics is 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 of uh, uh, very high importance because it may mean different at in different social contexts so politics may also you may think of politics uh, also in your uh, uh, for example in a private corporation or a private company uh, among the employees uh, you you can say that that the politics is there, uh, there among the employees of a particular company so the context is also important so these are the two major challenges in defining politics uh, now the thing is a uh, conclusion about this is uh, now we, we have come to conclusion so we are concluding with the thing that uh, in the entire discussion what you have seen and what i have said uh, you have you might have observed that there is nothing certain about uh, this concept uh, i may have been moving from one point to one other but this is this in fact is the reality of politics this is all about politics so it is essentially a contested concept so when you are moving from one point to other point in defining uh, uh, in defining the term politics then in fact you uh, you can't say that you are unaware of the politics you are in fact behaving in the realm of politics and it is due to the nature of the subject that you are moving from one point to the other point and all those points uh, or all those conclusions or all those definitions you, which you propose or the conclusions to which you come they may be very much legitimate and they may be um, uh, acceptable as well so uh, no single definition can be said to be authoritative but it it, it also cannot be denied this is the main thing so that's why it is important that when we study politics we must uh, uh, consider this debate of defining the politics uh, because uh, it provides us an insight of uh, deepest intellectual uh, uh, and uh, uh, ideological disagreements in in the academic study of this subject so you can see that how much 
divisiveness is they they are in 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 the academic study of this subject uh, that even the definition has not been agreed upon so we will further expound upon the debate of what is politics in our next lecture but to some extent uh, uh, you may have got the idea uh, that what we can uh, uh, what do we mean when we talk about politics or how can we define politics so you have to consider all these aspects and then you have to propose a definition and then only you can say that uh, okay this is a contested concept so this is all about today's lecture and we will be making uh, these lectures daily and if you like this lecture do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also uh, if you are interested in the pdf of our lecture you can join us on telegram the link of this uh, uh, telegram channel is given in our description box and also you can subscribe to our channel and you can visit our website or download our app from play store or app store that is ios so all these links will be provided in the description box and if you like this video do ensure that you like it um, you share it with your friends and uh, uh, you uh, you regularly uh, see our videos so thank you have a very nice day ahead